the O2 tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you the Affine filter. Or, I'm certain you'll probably say it's slightly different. Anyway, you can use it uh, multiple times. Uh, you can also use it in channels, use it with layers and much more. And you can find it over in the filters. And I'm just going to go filters and distort and Affine. And right, always seems to tuck it over there. So somebody look at me, oh, where it's gone. Now, rotation, basically just rotate the image. It's great for a whole range of transformations. So it's, as you can see, rotation and scale, scale Y, obviously, and offset X and offset Y. Now, there's a couple of extend modes as well. Generally, I don't always go for that one, but it's okay. That's quite useful. Full and repeat, not so great. Wrap is probably one I use most time, especially if say like combined 25%, so you can make it. Now there's very similar features now available in the equations filter. There's quite obviously options for scale, etc. in there. And obviously it works really nice combined with the equations filter as well with 1.5. So it's worth checking out that. But okay, once you've actually done that, you can click apply and that's it. But you can of course Apply it twice, three, four times, as many times. But what I'm going to do, I'm also going to combine that. I'm just going to just go up there because there's a new feature as well with 1.5, and that's macro. And just quickly go to view and studio, and you can see there macro. And there's also a library feature, so macro there. So I'm just going to click that little start recording, and I'm just going to apply that filter again. Just going to go ooh, use a different one as well. Sort of fine and just move that around and scale 20 and 50, doesn't have to be the same. And you've got that click apply, and what you'll see is it appears there. So you've got that macro, the first bit. But now the great thing is, of course, you can apply a blur. So you can say, go with blur, say, I'm gonna go with cutting blur. I don't know that much, but say that click apply and then. Maybe go to filters and distort and find again, and you can rotate it around different ways. So, you use maybe mirror this time to create some different combinations, and maybe 50 there, and so on. So, on. so you can see you can really quite create very interesting just by a combination of a couple of commands. Click apply, and they've all been stored there. And obviously, just finish off, stop recording. And that's that. So it's not recording. You can just obviously clear it down, reset that just by clicking there. And there's also an option for add to library, which I'm just going to do. So you can just quickly add that to say, ah, that's a good enough name. That was the name I used previous run through. So multiple, click OK. And just go down there and you can see now there. And I'm just going to go back and then just click. Going to do it actually it did twice which wasn't particularly what i wanted to do but there you've got that so various macro just quickly applied there and great for creating maybe some sort of like textures pattern designs and so on and so on and so on hope you found this of interest thank you much